Mani Mesa Chima and Larry Inuktis Nalungak with the environment and and uh, people talking about the climate change happening and then <laughs> it's always been um, to my knowledge with of the information I get from people I live with the elders um, that you know it's always changing um, who knows could be could be colder next year um, so we don't know so you have to be ready for whatever uh, yes we just we well, you have to be ready at, in, at anything yeah mm -hmm. you can you can depend on it to be warmer next year yeah, yeah. being raised raised by um, the elders um, when I was small, um, um, I was rarely ever allowed to stay in the igloo regardless of the weather. Um, but I w they would have, they would give me a snow knife if it's bad, uh, if I'm not going to be playing with other kids. I would have a snow knife. And they, they said I could build a shelter of some kind, a shelter. So I tried, I uh, started building a little shelter, just plain sh shelter, um, a few blocks. Um, uh, I said, I said a shelter. And then a few, few years later, um, and I started learning how to build an igloo. And uh, I don't know how many years trying to finish one. <clears throat> and um, for several years, it would go halfway up and then start, you know, wanted to uh, have a dome shape trying to force the block in, and it just falls down, falls down, and just breaks, and the whole thing would break it. And, and, and I was, uh, same thing for several years. And then, I, and then my grandfather says, look at the igloo, look at the igloo, for many years. Look at the igloo. As soon as someone, and also someone, once in a long while, start building an igloo, and then tells me to watch. Uh, of course, the build, the igloo builder is, doesn't talk, um, as they're busy after finish the igloo before, you know, little dawn of light is like three hours, so. And the igloo is made for uh, seven or eight people to live in. And um, so I tried to figure that for many years. And I don't know how old I was. Um, I started thinking at the first block. And so I. From there, I don't know how long it took me. It was only like a, um, maybe a, a four feet high, uh, maybe uh, five feet diameter. Finally put one together, put, uh, finished it. So I asked, and I told my grandfather, I, because I'm not allowed to go inside the igloo, so I yell in, into the igloo and I said, I finished one. And he just said, hey, oh yeah, hey. And then I waited for him. He wasn't coming out. He finally came out <laughs> to go pee. He peed first, 
and then he looked in there, smashed it, and he said, you've got to build it properly. So I couldn't say anything. You have to agree with everything, what he says. Or no, at the time, you have to agree to anybody who's old, older than you. And then um, he, you know, at the time, I ate early age, I started drinking tea. He had tea ready and some bannock. Uh, and off I go with the snow life again for the day to try to build an igloo. And maybe two years later after that, I, find, I build a, another igloo, like I finished it. And I yelled into an igloo. And I said to my grandfather, I told him I finished one. And, uh, and then shortly after that, came out and inspected by the entrance to our, um, went out and went back into Igloo. Didn't even say anything. And I go, all right, I did it right. <laughs> and and um, from there, um, I started um, remembering the first block is very important. So, because um, the rest will follow uh, the shape of the igloo. If you're living, when you were living in the igloo mm -hmm. in the winter, and then as the winter started to get warmer and the the, um, the igloo started to warm up, yeah. then, when, then what would you do? They, you know, they built another igloo. Um, uh, what's called spring igloo is called kakmak and uh, the roof is uh, it it's uh, skins a layer of skin so it doesn't drip too much into anything inside the igloo so that's how they used to do it once in a while once in a long long while they uh, build a uh, uh, special igloo for drum dancing igloo. Um, uh, if they're going to be celebrating uh, the families or a member of the camp, if they're going to be celebrating with a drum dance, um, they, then they build a, a big enough igloo for everybody to fit in. And they have drum dance. The only time they drum dance is there's no one sick um, and no one starving and lot they have plenty of food and then and also or if they see a family a new a family they have uh, they haven't seen for many years when they get together and everybody's healthy and that's the only time they used to hold a drum dance um, you could lose your stuff when, if for some reason, and then, and then if you have a snow knife or a knife to build a igloo or just a um, survival shelter, you know, it would be very very handy for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 